Wow, the days just fly by. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do with having bad luck? We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point. I'd heard stories about it, but man, they sure picked a spot for a Colosseum. It's at the tip of the continent of Desier, after all. Now that you mention it, this continent has a pretty strange shape. I wonder why it's shaped the way it is. Hmm. I'll bet we might figure out why if we walked all the way around it. That's our map lover, Captain Carol. I don't love maps. No, no, don't be shy. It's a wonderful hobby. Ugh, that doesn't sound like a compliment at all. No sign of him so far. Do you think he went this way? Maybe he used this to get through to the other side of the mountain. But this cave is the Weasand of Kados! A powerful monster called Terrapus lives here. It's supposed to be really dangerous. Or at least that's what Nan told me. Perhaps he went inside without knowing that. Looks like he was hiding out here hoping we'd just pass him by. Well now, let's have a nice long chat. What were you trying to gain setting us up like that back at the Colosseum? And get back that case! You leave me no choice. Leviathan's Claw? Hold still. I'll make this quick. These guys are all over the place. Oh, I feel so powerful! Guess this means Ruins Gate and Leviathan's Claw are connected. So they pretend to help with the excavations, then swipe materials and sell them later, huh? Who oh, I'll make them pay, I swear! How could a guild as famous and renowned as Ruins Gate do something like that? Judith, wait! He'll get away if we don't hurry. Remember what I said? There's a really nasty monster living in there! Hey, what do you say we call it a day? Old Raven can't afford to get too far from Nordopolica without getting this letter to Bellius. The Don will hit me with another one of his thankless jobs otherwise. Well, I'm going after him. I can't let somebody like that just do whatever with the Blastia he takes from the ruins! Then I'm gonna get that case back, too! Uh, I'm going, too. What are you talking about? You're staying put here. I'm not. Huh. This doesn't sound like something Brave Asperia can very well pass up. Yeah. It's our job to protect Estelle. If we all go together, we're bound to come up with something. Sure you'll be all right without the Great Raven? I think so. Good luck delivering the letter. Ugh. <sighs> Jeez, aren't you even gonna try to stop me from leaving? Grant us your favor! 
That was a pretty strong monster, but I guess we're done. I guess we're done? Come on, we just defeated that gigantic monster. Calm down, Carol, pull yourself together. Come on, Yuri, you can at least be a little bit happy. Huh, what's the matter, Estelle? Why are you sitting? How can both of you take it so easily? What, did you get scared, Estelle? That huge monster, I was so nervous, I, I. You were doing just fine while we were fighting. But if I got like this during battle, I'd end up causing trouble for everybody. Don't worry about it, Estelle. Here, let me give you a hand. I... I'm sorry. There we go. Now, who do we get to fight next? Bring them on, right? I'd rather have nobody be next. Huh? Hey, Yuri. You're really ready for another fight, aren't you? What's with you, Carol? You've been nervous for a while now. Come on, we'll lose Regay if we don't hurry up. But, but there might be dangerous monsters in there. What are you talking about? We can't just take this sitting down. We can't let him have that box, Carol. I'm just a little tiny, eensy weensy bit curious as to why he took that box. So let's find out. I don't know if you all are brave or crazy. I guess I'm outvoted. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'll blast away Regay and the monsters. Let's go. Did you just hear something? Right here. Whoa! Wait, Patty? Ah, we meet again. You sure pop up in the weirdest of places. Still looking for Ifrit's treasure? Aye, that I am. Hey, what kind of treasure is it anyway? Prepare to have your socks blown off. It's the Maristella. What is that? Um, I... I'm not sure. Wow, even our walking encyclopedia hasn't heard of it. Out of Eifried's treasures, the Maristella is the most precious. Well, has anyone found it yet? They're called treasures precisely because they're hard to find. You're a weirdo. Hey! I heard in Nordopolica that you're Eifried's granddaughter. Is that true? Whoa, little lady, that right. I wonder how the Don would react if he found out his sworn ally had a granddaughter. Now that you mention it, the Don and Eifried were friends since before the Union was formed, weren't they? But hey, you're lying, right? About being Eifried's granddaughter. I mean, you never said anything about that before. It's the truth, I think. You think? What do you mean? I mean, I'm speculating. Estelle's asking why you would claim someone's your grandfather based on just speculation. Oh, well, that's because I have amnesia. Am... Amnesia? Yep. Then you don't know for sure whether you really are Eifried's granddaughter? There's no doubt it's true, I think. Ugh, come on! Make up your mind! Which is it? Because I don't know. I'm searching for the Maristella because I don't know. 
So basically, to get your memories back, you want to meet Eifried, a guy who might be your gramps. And to find him, you're looking for that Maristella treasure. That sound about right? Aye. Someday I'll meet my grandpa. But... On a more urgent subject, shouldn't we be going after the Red Box? Oh, right! Hey, why are you following us? I was planning on going this way anyway. Then why don't we travel together? I'd like that. This isn't like going shopping, you know. I know that. If something happens, I'll help out. Well, aren't you helpful? I had thought that amnesia was only in stories. It happens all the time. Get caught up in an explosion during a failed Blastia experiment and there go all your memories. But losing all of your memories is pretty rare. It's a tragedy. That it is. Well, even if your past memories are gone, you can start creating new memories from now on. There's no need to be pessimistic. I see. That's a different point of view. I'll stuff my mind's album with memories of Yuri. Yuri and more Yuri. Just thinking of it makes me shiver. I... I hope there might be a little room for me in there. I... I think we can squeeze you into a corner somewhere. Oh. Ah! Help! What is that? Air? This is just like at Cave Mock. Is there an air crane here too? What do we do? Charge right in. I don't think so. Judith is right. Touching air that thick is dangerous. I... I can't believe that something like that would s save me. Wait! Ah! It looks like we'll have to keep our distance. W what's this sh shaking? Is that the monster you were talking about, Carol? Uh, no! I've never seen a monster like that before! No, Patty, don't! Whoa! It ate the air? Ah! I... I can't move! Oh no! This is not... good. Hey, I can move. You're not getting away again. Rita, be careful! Don't worry, it's not harmful at its current density. What the hell just happened? The monster we just saw somehow normalized the air crane that was out of control. But that would mean that it can control the air. Could it be the same thing that guy did with his sword back in Cave Mock? Can we pass through it? Rita! Oh, uh, right. It should be okay. All right! Charge! Uh, Patty, please be careful. What's the matter? I have to figure this out. I mean, this is what I'm traveling for. Come on, Rita. I know, I know. We have to follow him, but I just... That air cranny isn't exactly going anywhere, is it? Of course not, you idiot! Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, let's go. All right. Carol, are you okay? Y yeah, peachy. No, really, I'm fine. That monster's power. Was that the Rizomata formula too? monster that consumes air? Just what was that creature? It did seem different from other monsters somehow. Yeah, that's for sure. It also looked like it was staring at us. Maybe it was wondering which of us to eat first. It, 
It looked into my eyes for quite a long time, actually. How nice for you. He must have thought you looked the tastiest. I don't think I'd call that nice. I never would have guessed there would be an air crane in the Weezen of Kados. Me neither. I guess nobody passing through ever noticed it. It must not have been putting out enough air until now for anyone to feel the effects. Sounds right. Sure picked the perfect time to start going crazy. That was a serious pain. Well, I was able to log a new discovery, so it worked out in the end. Yeah, so glad you enjoyed yourself. So, someone has one of those air crane you found? Rita, you explain. I'm all ears. I've been participating in the conversation, right? There he is! But, but how did you... Good work, Rapide. Looks like our little game of tag is over, Reggae. <laughs> N no I'll have to show you my really real power. No way! Huh. So that's what's been going on. What does this mean? Was he disguising himself as Regay? I don't think we have time to worry about the particulars right now. Oh, me, oh, my. How terribly frightening. I don't know what I'd do if I were to end up like poor Rago. What do you mean? What happened to him? Oh, they found his body face down in a riverbed back in Dongrest. I just couldn't bear it if I ended up like that, you know. Rago is... dead? Mm, afraid that's not for me to say. I, my lips are zipped up tight, for sure. <sighs> Jaeger! Ta-da! The reinforcements have arrived! Gosh, Drotz, the rest I leave up to you. As you wish. Aye, aye, sir! <laughs> He's getting away! Not on my watch. I'll see you in the funny papers, Liebchen.
too many arts. Guess I overdid it. Someone protect me while I'm casting. from our enemies you're not gonna make fools of us but with those injuries let us withdraw bye bye for now man this stinks where'd this smoke come from <laughs> they're throwing our canine friend here off the scent as long as we put up with the smell, we'll be fine. But I can't stand that smell. We're going after them. Uh, wh what is with this heat? We've passed through the caverns and come out on the other side of the mountains. So you mean... Those are the sands of Kagor. Whoa, we made it all the way there? The sands of Kagor. Pharaoh's here. I... am going on... to meet Pharaoh. Wait! We can't just let you go alone! I mean, our job right now is to protect you. Well, we did get the stolen box back, right? Yeah, I guess we can't just keep chasing him around. <laughs> Alright, we'll take care of him next time. Hold on! Are you seriously going? Do you know what you're saying? This is a desert. It's hot. People die here, get it? I'm ready for it. I think. The desert is divided into three regions. Huh? The foothills to the west, the center where it's hottest, and the massive peaks to the east. Uh, hey, hold on. There's a town between the end of the western foothills and the central area. Where did you hear that? I went there with a friend once. It's a nice town built up around an oasis. We'll hold off on any major decisions until we get there then. Sounds good to me. Old Raven wouldn't be able to think straight till he cools off. What are you gonna do, Patty? What's that treasure you're searching for? Maristella, was it? Well, I can't guarantee you'll find any clues in that town, though. Don't worry. As long as there are people, I'm sure there'll be clues. Well, there are people living there. Then I'll be joining you. Rita. I know. We'll make that our first destination. I'm still trying to get my head around the fact that Regé was Jaeger's alter ego. This spells out the connection between Ruinsgate and Leviathan's Claw pretty clearly. And that Jaeger was the boss of both guilds. Isn't it kind of early to say that for sure? It is possible that the Regé we met was just Jaeger putting on a show. Maybe the real Regé's off in some ruin someplace, just digging away, happy as a clam. We're gonna have a hell of a time if it's really that complicated. I don't know. Maybe I'm just puzzling over it a little too hard. We'll have to keep at it until we get to the bottom of this mess. Seems like a pretty sleepy town. Well, in this heat? There are knights even here, though! I don't recall seeing such intimidating people here the last time I came. Alright, I'm off to search for clues about the treasure. Bye-bye for now! You're leaving? Oh-ho! So you want me to stay a little longer, eh? 
Well, it's been fun and all, but I'm sure Patty's got things she needs to take care of. Uh, then I guess it's time for me to be off. Be careful out there. All right, shall we each go our own way for now? <sighs> On for that. Before I do anything, I want to give these feet a rest. Okay then, let's meet up in front of the inn after sunset. Okay, see you then. No easy thing looking out for everybody else. Well, I think we all could use a little time to think things over. <laughs> the kids are all right. I wouldn't think the knights would bother coming all the way out to a border town like this. More power to them if they're really here to defend the public order, or whatever, but something tells me there's more to it than that. Hey, old man. Sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Hmm. Whoa, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge, is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Bellius, right? Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then... I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easygoing? You sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you miss the new moon, the Don'll yell at you for sure. Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. If I gotta wait, I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult, too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. Oh, where are you off to? Nowhere in particular, just going on a walk. What about you? Where were you going? I just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we were going to be headed into next. It's good to be prepared. So how was it? It was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm. Well, okay. But what I wanted to know was if Pharaoh was out there. Right. That'd be nice. Oh well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. What? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we should do it together. Oh, I see. Yuri. Hey, why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita would joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me I... You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri... Then I... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. <sighs> huh? You're still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? You got me. Now marry me. I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, 
Is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. Eifried is... I don't know about you, but for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, Eifried is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. <sighs> and if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not gonna take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. Mm. And as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later! I feel like my world is crashing down around me. I can't believe Ruin's Gate was secretly selling weapons, and that they were smuggling them illegally out of ruins. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. That's so sad, though. Well, you don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know is right. And lead brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? Hmm. <laughs> Well, let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. You can't open that without a key. I know. Are you really gonna return it? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Nope. You saw what happened in Nordopolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're gonna look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but I can't. <clears throat> I've never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she? Carol, this is for you. Huh? What's going on, Estelle? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. 
I want to thank you all for everything you've done. Huh? What do you mean? You haven't found what you're looking for yet. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Take your leave? What are you gonna do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! Which is why I must go alone. I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really, but I'm afraid I can't let you. Estelle, wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared, but I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. Ooh, there's no reasoning with any of you. Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes, I've thought a lot about this. You all have something that's important to you. A goal you give everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own, something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... this is something I have to do for myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you idiots. Rita. There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. You've got your air credit research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air crane isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But we're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. I wonder what Pharaoh will do. Oh, my heart! Whoa, whoa, are you okay, old man? It's just, the sound of money gets this old heart racing. Stop that jingling, would you, Carol? Huh? All right, whatever. I can't believe how much gold we have! I bet it would feel great to spend all this gold at once. No way! We still need to save lots more! Ah, sounds like you've got plans for the future, kid. Saving for a hideout for Brave Vesperia? No, I wasn't thinking of that. It's just that saving lots of money feels... good, you know? You know what they call that, kid? Penny pinching. That's what. There's no use hoarding your money for later. You gotta spend it all at once. Go wild! No, no, that's even worse. You kids have got no sense of moderation. All right, old man, then what do you think we should do with it? Just invest it in Old Raven. My secret guild knowledge will give you back a hundred times as much. Pass. Why would someone set up a barrier in a place like this? 
Actually, they discovered the Blastia at the bottom of the oasis and have just been using it as is. A nice person in town told me that. And with it sunk in the oasis, no one could move it. So I guess they had to leave it where it was. No one would trudge out into a scorching wasteland like this just to set up a barrier. Ah, that explains it. Guess there's a reason for everything. This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa! No comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. Can we stay the night here? Hello! Welcome to the Desert Oasis Mantake. What's with this night? Well, um... <sighs> will... will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! But man, I just can't relax with the knights standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone. Let's get some sleep. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but... It would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks, but we've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordopolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into Arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to Arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale's there, but... <sighs> Thank you very much for your business. Wait! But... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. We filled up our water. 
I think we're ready to go. Right. Stop it! Let go! Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the Magistrate. No way! We're going to look for Mommy and Daddy! Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger. Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the Magistrate on their behalf. Hey, wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies. Do you think that maybe I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, hey, bro, are we gonna go look for Mommy and Daddy? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. Ugh. Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this, cause you're so nice. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. Yuri? What's the matter? I was just thinking about what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the Princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right. We can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All right, let's go. There's no shade anywhere. I never imagined it would be this hot. Nobody lasts long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey, old man. Aren't you hot? Hot? Uh, heck yeah. Uh, I'm sizzling over here. Uh, burning right up. That lousy. I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be alright if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Still, 
Okay then, let's find their parents. Was that Pharaoh? Then he really is somewhere in the desert. Settle down. You'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those kids. We keep going and going, but all we get is more sand and more blue sky. You're doing better than me if you can look at the sky, Raven. The only thing I see is sand. How come an old fart like you has so much energy anyway? Talking's only gonna wear you out. If one of us goes down, it'd be about all we could manage to get them back to safety. And I, for one, am in no mood to be giving out piggyback rides. If I collapse, Raven, you can carry me. Sorry, but this back's reserved for ladies only. I'll die before I collapse. I won't let myself be a burden either. The same goes for me, of course. Hey, there's no reason to go stomping on an old man's feelings, is there? Let's fill up our water here. But this is... Ow! Ouch! What an idiot. Use your head a little. Looks like this situation calls for a little extra help. Canteen filling time. Me next! We need to make sure to keep hydrated. Right. We wouldn't want to get sunstroke. If everyone's finished, let's go. Better stop plodding along like a zombie, or you'll only make yourself more tired. How are you in such good spirits? Some people take pleasure in the suffering of others. Why, I oughta? Don't waste your energy. That sort of happiness simply isn't healthy. Hey, did you hear a voice? No, not at all. By the way, why were you in this desert before? I used to live in a town up in the mountains to the north of here, together with my friend Ba'ul. So, I sometimes came down near the desert. All the way to the desert? Anyway, we hardly have time to look for anything out here. What with this heat? Seriously, if we run out of water, we'll be goners. We need to find something like a clue soon. Yes. Ah, oh, I'm out of water. Don't go drinking all of it. Thanks, Yuri. Hey, do you think we could take five? And you say I'm the one always wanting to rest. Yeah! <laughs> huh? The heat's gone and baked his brains. Water! Oh, Carol, be careful! You'll hurt yourself if you fall! <laughs> Looks like he still had plenty of energy. Wait up for old Raven! And here I thought they couldn't bear to go another step. Oh, I think I'm in heaven. I thought we were really done for. Hey now, you gotta be tougher than that if you're gonna save the world, kids. Shut up. It'll be dangerous if we just keep going like this. If we turn back now, though, we'll only disappoint those poor children. We've got to keep looking as long as we can. If we're lucky, we may even find Pharaoh along the way. That's right. And with this spring, we shouldn't have any trouble keeping up the search. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. Yeah, you're right. We've come this far. How about your water bottle, Carol? Did you fill it up? Here. I filled them for you. Here's yours, Rita. Thanks, Judith! Thanks. Everybody else all set? Yes. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> 